Hello, you freaky 80s aficionados. Uh, this, nobody knew what that was in the 80s. But, so technically this is the wrong shirt. I'll be right back! Ha ha! Much better! That literally was a coincidence that that was lying there. Um, uh, let's see, put the sidekick there. Everywhere, every, every funny man needs a sidekick. Hmm. That's the crazy tube circuits. Crazy tube circuits. Uh, sidekick. So what does this sidekick do? Um, well, it's three pedals in one, and I love that idea. It's got all the meat and potatoes of what you need for kick-ass cleans. Now, what our friends like uh, Luke Heather and a lot of the 80s guysies did, they had these really almost sterile, almost... Uh, wiry, not to be clean sounds with chorus. And I mean, we hear that a lot. And I think a lot of that stuff was DI, going directly into a Neve or SSL and then just capturing these clean DI sounds. And um, today, uh, our buddy Corey Wong uh, does that for, you know, from the funk, or who does he play for? A cool funk band. Um, he actually goes a lot just directly into the board, some compression, you need some compression, stuff like this, and uh, you're good to go. Now, this pedal can be used in front of an amp, which is what we're gonna do, but the cool thing is, if we show it from, well, the side, um, you can see I have it plugged in with XLR. It's got a DI out, so you can go directly into a console, and on top, you can see there's a, a ground lift, which we really need because otherwise I have a weird fizzle going on. Um, there's a speaker sim, which we can turn on and off, a pad, and I can enable the whole thing, which right now we're going to disable because we're going to go into an amp first. But this whole section is for the I+. You can actually practice with it headphone out with separate volume. That's great. But you want those... Really cool, if you ask me. It's really, really cool. Um, AOR uh, uh, and 80s rock cleans. This is the shit. No pedal directly into an amp can give you this because that's not what they did. We have separate switches for reverb, delay, and modulation. Modulation section. Very simple. Speed and depth, which is what you need. Chorus or flanger flunger. Then we have... An analog style delay, I say style, I don't know how it's actually made. Um, tail means feedback or repeats, time, no tap, uh, and more means mix. Very simple, it does the job. There's also a little uh, hole in the back for the preamp, so when you go in DI, you can actually say uh, you know, how hot the preamp is that they're using. Um, and then this is a reverb with mix and excite, which is probably a different parameter for the three different settings. Excite, I actually tested on the splash reverb, which is a really, really cool algorithm. I love that. It's just huge and beautiful. Um, then there's plate for those who like it more boring or boring a row, as they say. And then there's shimmer and uh, Crazy Tube Circuits does a good shimmer. So yeah, that's really, uh, you know, David Shimmer from the friend. Okay, fine then. You all suck. You can turn them on independently. We're gonna check it out with Blanche. Look at Blanche. That's my Tone Fox Bulldog. Spanish cedar body, rosewood neck and fretboard imported into Germany in 1962. The body's from the 80s. Lola, P90s, and a Charlie Christian in the middle. In between positions to die for. That's really what it's all about. That back in between position. Um, so that's what that sounds like. Um, well, let's test that with some chorus. Obviously into the Tone King, Sky King, into the Ox with the... 412 with cream backs.
If you're not a fan of the 80s, turn the video off right now. but everything you want and then flinging I got from C major to F sharp minor. You figure that out. I kind of related if you know what I mean. Nice and analog.
just for subtle delay? Hells no! That lo-fi crap in there is amazing. This is really good. Of course, you can go... You know, rather subtle. Actually, more subtle than that. Even slapbacky. Without the chorus. Uh, that delay can do a shit ton. Now we're on Exciter. Reverb. God, this guitar is good. This pedal is. Um, that was only the exciter mode. Plate. It's a plate. What the crap else does it do?
That'll do, youngling. That'll do. And now, get this. Bye to my baby. Now that Leslie's off the phone, wait, wait, get this. I, I, was, I was more excited before, but I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay. The shimmer. Let's not do E. Let's do. Leslie, give me a chord. Hello? What are the choices? What chords are there? Before you can, it goes from A to G. Uh, then C like cat. C like cat. Okay. <laughs> crap holder now of course i can't go into all the different combinations that would be insane i can crank this up this down a bit i can do much more of the delay and more depth on the flanger this time Let, let's see what that does <laughs> Yeah, obviously this is all way too much, but it's beautiful. And um, you can't do anything subtle, obviously. So now I'm gonna turn my amp off, I'm gonna turn the DI on, and now you're hearing XLR directly into the Apollo X4 audio interface. So without any amp, just the pedal and the guitar, this is what you can do. Now oh, that's kind of nothing, but how about this? And you can hear that spanky direct sound. That is so... Can 
can of course do that without the speaker simulation. I wouldn't do that with distortion necessarily. I don't know, let's see. No, don't do that, but with... Yeah, maybe, but really... Clean is where it's at. line is the sidekick is fucking ridiculously good it it nails those di sounds so it really is four pedals in one well it's kind of five pedals in one it's a great chorus with two knobs it's a great flanger with two knobs it's a really good delay analog style lo-fi subtle huge it's all in the box um, oh, by the way, as I'm saying all this, I'm not even getting paid for this video, okay? I get the pedal. Uh, I have pedals, but do I have one of those? Well, now I do. Um, mix, excite, reverb. Three reverbs is all you need if they're that good. That exciter is ridiculous. That plate is, uh, you know, the standard thing. And that shimmer is as good as a shimmer can possibly be. Now, that is four pedals. And then you have a DI pedal to take all of this clean insanity with some grit and some, some little drive into your board. Uh, realistically, if I want to record those types of um, affected, lush, clean sounds, I don't need an amp. I mean, I loved it with the amp, but this DI stuff, that's good. And plug in headphones, record, uh, you know, practice with it. Um, I, I, I don't know what else to say. I don't even, the thing is under 300 bucks. Wait, 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 let, 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 me, let me check this. Um, at Toman, it clocks in at 291 right now. I think the, 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 the VAT is lower. So 299, that's a freaking steal. For that quality of effect, with the DI-ness, it's a very unique pedal. So if you in any way, like me, 
like the good old 80s, not even that, if you just like those cleans, hells yeah, this is a must-have. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm not even getting paid to, like, you know, be all, like, excited. This is real excitement. Plus, when I'm getting paid, I can't even fake that for money. I am what I am. I say what I say. This is good, period. I could continue making this video for hours. Leslie wouldn't like that. So we're going to close it right here. Um, uh, Patreon, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe here. Um, if not, you loser! And um, please support me. It really helps. Thanks, Leslie, for switching. Links below to Toman. Please use them. That really helps to uh, pay for this. Um, and a... Uh, uh, some form of critters uh, at the end. <laughs>